but hopefully we'll have some fun today. So I think we'll go ahead and get started with our um, clapping rhyme, our hello rhyme. All right, ready with your clapping hands? We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. We wave and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we wave and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. We'll clap one more time. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. With our friends at story time, we clap and sing hello. Nice job, everybody. Very good. All right. Well, today, as I was picking out some books for us to read, I kind of noticed that we have a theme of opposites. Do you guys know what the, the word opposites means? So one thing is kind of the, uh, the complete different uh, thing as another. So, for example, if I say up, the opposite is down. That's right. It goes the complete different way. So, um, we did this rhyme a couple of weeks ago where it plays with some opposites. It's called roly-poly. So you're going to do your roly-poly with your arms. All right. So we're going to say roly-poly, roly-poly, up, up, up. Roly-poly, roly-poly, down, down, down. Roly-poly, roly-poly, out, out, out. Roly-poly, roly-poly, in, in, in. Roly-poly, roly-poly, big, big, big. Roly-poly, roly-poly, little, little, small. Roly-poly, roly-poly, fast, 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 fast. Roly-poly, roly-poly, slow, slow, slow. Nice job. Very good. All right. There's one more rhyme that I want to do before we start our first book, and it's another opposites one. So we're going to, I don't know if we've ever done this one, but we used to do it at my old library. So I'm going to say this is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast 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 this is slow 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 this is yes 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 this is no 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 all right good job all right the first book that i would like to recommend is up 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 down by kimberly Yee. This is a great book uh, that talks about opposites, and it really is very simple. There's only a few words per page, and it goes through um, a baby's um, day with his dad, and um, it's really fun. I, I really suggest looking at uh, the pictures very carefully and um, talking through them with your child um, and saying, you know, What's he doing here and what's he doing there? And that, that will really um, make the meaning come through um, because our toddlers, they live in a world of opposites, don't they? You're saying, don't do that, don't do that. Oh, yes, come on, you need to do this. So this is a really fun book, Up, 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 Down by Kimberly Key. There is a, a song, another song, and that the front of this, of this very first picture reminded me of that I thought we should do and it's really fun it's called the elevator song do you guys know what an elevator is it's a machine that takes you up a tall building so if you um, want to hang out with your grown-up they want to lift you up if that's not something that you want to do you can stand up and sit down as we go through the song so there's some different options. So as always, Scary Squirrel is my little partner here. 
and I will lift him up in just a second. But the first part of the song has some has some motions. So we're gonna say, Oh, the city is great and the city is grand. There's a whole lot of people on a little piece of land, and we live way up on the fifty seventh floor. And this is what we do when we go out the door. <clears throat> you ready? We take the elevator up, we take the elevator down, we take the elevator up, we take the elevator down, we take the elevator up, we take the elevator down, and we turn around. Oh, that was fun. Should we do that again? Oh, the city is great and the city is grand. There's a whole lot of people on a little piece of land and we live way up on the 57th floor and this is what we do when we go out the door ready ready we take the elevator up we take the elevator down we take the elevator up we take the elevator down we take the elevator up we take the elevator down and we turn around oh nice job that's a really fun song and there's lots of different variations so we might do that one again in the future. So that was the elevator song. Thank you for being my partner, partner Scaredy. All right, did you guys have your shakers ready? We're gonna do some shaker songs today. So get your shakers ready. All right, if you don't have your shaker, you don't have one at all, or you just don't have it ready, that's okay. Remember, you can do your magic shaker. Okay, <clears throat> all right. So we're gonna do, we shake and we shake and we stop. We shake and we shake and we stop. We shake and 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 we stop. Well, you can shake your body too. Can we do a circle? We circle and we circle and we stop. We circle and we circle and we stop. We circle and 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 we stop. Nice job. Okay, how about tapping? Remember, you can tap wherever you want. You can tap on your shoulder, you can tap on your head, tap on your chin, on your chest, on your hand. Okay, we tap and we tap and we stop. We tap and we tap and we stop. We tap and 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 we stop. Nice job. All right, last one. Ready to roll? You got your rolling down with our roly poly this uh, earlier, and now we're gonna roll again. We roll and we roll and we stop. We roll and we roll and we stop. We roll and 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 we stop. Nice job, very good. Give yourselves a good shake and clap. Good, good, good. All right, <coughs> since we got our shakers out, we have to keep using them, right? We have one more song with our shakers. Okay, this is the one where you have to listen to the words. There's lots of different directions of what to do with your shaker. All right. Shake your shakers in the air. Shake it here, shake it there. Shake your shakers in the air. Shake your shaker. Shake it high and shake it low. Shake it yes, shake it no. Shake it high and shake it low. Shake your shaker. Shake it up and shake it down. Shake your shaker on the ground. Shake it up and shake it down. Shake your shaker. All right, shake it near and shake it far. Drive your shaker like a car. Shake it near and shake it far. Shake your shaker. All right, shake it fast and shake it slow. Shake it stop, shake it go. Shake it fast and shake it slow. Shake your shaker. 
Nice job. Another speaking applause. Very good. All right. The second book I'd like to recommend for this story time is Don't Wake the Tiger by Britta Teckentrup. And this is a, a really fun interactive book. So the story will tell the reader to do some things to help the story move along. So this is a really fun one. We've got a big old tiger who is sleeping and a, a, several animals with balloons that need to get across to the other side of where the tiger is. And how are they gonna do that without waking up the tiger? You'll have to read the book and follow along. Uh, and I'll, I'll no make a note here that this is a Firefly Award winner. Uh, the Firefly Award is the Indiana Early Literacy um, Award for picture books uh, for the state of Indiana. And it was voted on by um, hundreds of kids across the state as their favorite from uh, a selection of nominees. And I think this was the 2018 award winner. So, great book, Don't Wake the Tiger by Britta Teckentrup. All right. Remember we did a, um, a, rhyme, a tickle rhyme about lions and, or tigers and leopards. A tiger has stripes on his, on his or her coat, right? With stripes, that's what their markings are. A leopard has spots on their coat. So, in our tickle rhyme, here we are with my my friend Scaredy Squirrel again. We're gonna do this, you can do it on a belly, you can do it on the back, you can do it on the back of the head if you want. So, we're gonna do spot, 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 so a leopard has lots of spots. What a lot of spots he's got. A tiger stripes are very nice, but a leopard has lots of spots, 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 spots. Tickle, 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 tickle. Oh, that's a fun one. That's fun for when you're getting dressed or if you're changing diapers, if that's something that you guys still do. Let's do that one more time, okay? Security Squirrel always likes to do it more than once. I'm going to do it on his back this time. So let's see, here we go. Spots, 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 spots. A leopard has lots of spots. What a lot of spots he's got. A tiger's stripes are very nice. But a leopard has lots of spots, 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 spots. Tickle, 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 tickle. Ooh, he really likes that. Oh, do you like being tickled? Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. And and that's okay. If you're not in the mood for tickling, maybe you just say so. That's okay. All right. We are almost at the end. We're going to do one more song. I think we had some fun with Shake Your Sillies out last time. So I'm going to do that one again. And as always, if you have your shaker you can shake along using that okay all right get my sheet here make sure I get the right words all right I'm gonna shake 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 the sillies out shake Yo 
feel refreshed. Ready to shake them one more time? I'm gonna shake, shake, shake my silly out, shake, shake. Everybody. Oh, I saw some great shaking, some really good silly shaking. All right, my friends. So my activity um, suggestion today is not really a craft. It's more of an activity, and it's to go for a scavenger hunt for opposites somewhere in your house. And this is for our caregivers and our grown-ups, too, to point out opposites whenever you see them. But look for opposites in your house. You can look for textures, like something that's rough and something that's smooth. Good morning, Lydia. Good to see you. Um, rough and smooth. You can try soft and hard. So something soft like a pillow, and something hard like a piece of furniture. Uh, let's see what is round and what is squared off. So those are kind of opposites. You can look for opposites in color. You can look for black and white. So those are things to look for. You can also um, try movement. So you can do fast and slow. You can go loosey-goosey and rigid like a robot. You can be going over things or under things. Uh, in front of or behind so you can make a game out of that part of it. So try to find as many opposites as you can this week. All right, very good. So we're going to finish with our Tickle the Stars. All right, getting your tickling hands out. So we'll tickle the stars and we'll tickle our toes and we'll turn around and tickle your nose. Tickle, 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 tickle. We reach down low. We reach way up high. Story time is over, so wave goodbye. Thank you guys, everybody. We'll see you next week. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.